Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams tutorial series, you will learn how to create balance diagram in PowerPoint. The balance you will learn to create looks like this. It's a very simple diagram where you can show the positive or negative factors and you can write the positive and negative factors here and it is a very simple diagrammatic representation of the pros and cons or for and against factors. If you want to show balance favoring positives, the diagram can look like this and if you want to show balance favoring negatives, you can have the diagram look like this and it's a very simple diagram to create and let us create the diagram from scratch by going to a new slide. If you observe closely, the diagram has three components. One is the plank, second is the fulcrum or the center point, and the third is some kind of icons to represent positive and negative factors. So let us create each one of them using auto shapes. The first step is to go to rectangles in auto shapes menu and pick up this basic rectangle shape and let us draw the plank. That's as simple as that. Your plank is ready. You can remove the outline and you can have the color to be black. So we are done with the plank. The next step is to create the fulcrum. So once again we go to auto shapes menu and under basic shapes pick up this particular tool called as isosceles triangle while holding the sh shift tab draw the isosceles triangle. Now it is essential that this isosceles triangle is in the center point here so for which we are going to select this and while holding the shift tab we will also select the plank and go to arrange, align and align center. So now we can be sure that this one is in the middle of this. Next we will try to match the color, the shape fill is the same and shape outline we will remove. Now that we have the base plank and the fulcrum it is time to add icons representing positive and negative factors for which let me go to auto shapes menu once again and I'm going to use this shape called as rounded rectangle and I'm going to hold the shift tab while I create the rounded rectangle. Now I can add a positive uh, symbol here. All you need to do is to press shift and you have the positive available in, on your keyboard so you can do that and you can improve increase the font here so keep adding till the time you are happy with the size maybe you can use a bolder font like Arial black to make it look more attractive since the color of positive is usually green so I'm going to use the green one and I'm going to use the shape outline as white so there the icon is ready let us say we want to have three positive factors so I'm going to have three here. The next thing is to have negative factors so I'm going to take the same one here for which I'm going to I am pressing the control tab while I move the shape so I can create a duplicate copy of the, of the object. Now I want to remove the positive here and put a dash here showing negative. Sometimes I'm not very happy with the size of the negative here because it is too short to make any impression so I'm going to remove that and I'm going to create negative using the rectangle shape and this seems to be the ideal size for negative and I'm going to use white shape fill and no outline and this can be in red to indicate negative. Now select both of it, both the shapes and press Ctrl G to group them and if you want to have equal number of negative factors you can press the Ctrl tab while you add more copies. So that is how it is, you can always make the final adjustments using the up and uh, down arrows. We can uh, move them till we are happy and satisfied. So that is good enough. Now I can write my text here. So I am going to pick up this text shape here and let me write 
um, first maybe your text here I can always add the bullet points say one and since there are three points here I am going to do that one so we have three uh, factors that can be written and I can keep it slightly down here I'll tell you why as we move forward and we have equal number of negative factors good enough now if I want to show the balance favoring positives all I need to do is to select all of this press ctrl G so it forms a group now you can use this rotate handle to rotate this now as we rotate you can see that the center point has shifted so I am going to move this slightly to the right and there it is the balance is tilted in the in favor of positives the same way if I want to have favoring negatives once again I can tilt it the opposite way and move the plank somewhere closer to the center point so that is how you create balance diagram in PowerPoint the good thing about balance is you can almost tell a story with the, di with the diagram. I'm going to show you some example templates taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs and we have combined the concept of balance with the power of custom animation and let me show you what I mean by this. So this is about relationship management. The story goes like this. Whenever you start any customer relationship you would always expect you can always see that the share of wallet of the competition is far more than your share of wallet however when you add value proactively to the customer the balance starts to tilt in your favor as you keep adding more and more value you will gain acceptance in the customers mind and the balance starts to tilt in your favor now as the time progresses when you develop trust and credibility your share grows and you will even take over the share of wallet of the competition as well so that is how you can combine the power of custom animation with the concept of balance if you don't want to use custom animation you can use something like this which is a static slide and here we have used the concept of scales and here you can also see the needle as well to show which side the balance is tilted you can show the more positive side here the more negative side here so those are the variations and if you want to show just a simple scales diagram this is one of the ways you can do it and let me show you an alteration an alternative to um, the scales diagram and here you can see that this can be used as a way to compare options the option 1 and option 2 can be here and instead of just options you can also compare performance of two quarters maybe the first quarter here the second quarter and you can have the text coming here on click in the templates you also get this blank one so you can actually add any object that you want which shows the tilted scales and here is another option which shows um, scales in a different color with golden color so you have balanced diagram and here you have strong positives and here you have strong negatives if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking graphics for yourself you can always take a look at off-the-shelf solutions like our PowerPoint CEO packs volume 1 and 2 because it takes a lot of time and effort to create professional looking graphics and you can spend your time much better by working on your content rather than working on your diagrams when you get our PowerPoint CEO packs volume 1 and 2 there are more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and busy business presenters you just can change the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time creating professional quality business slides has never been easier hope you liked the tutorial on creating balance diagram in PowerPoint if you want to learn more such diagrams and if you want to improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills, please visit us at presentationprocess.com. There are tons of videos, tutorials, and articles to help you improve your skills. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.